from the writings of Shinran, the true teaching, practice, and realization of the Pure Land Way. Preface I reflect within myself, colon, the universal vow, difficult to fathom, is indeed a great vessel bearing us across the ocean difficult to cross. The unhindered light is the sun of wisdom, dispersing the darkness of our ignorance. The auspicious name embodying the perfectly fulfilled supreme virtues is true wisdom that transforms our evil into virtue. The diamond-like Shinjin, so difficult to accept, is true reality that sweeps away doubt and brings us to attainment of enlightenment. This, then, is the true teaching, easy to practice for small foolish beings. It is the straight way, easy to traverse for the dull and ignorant. Among all the teachings of the great sage preached in his lifetime, none surpasses this ocean of virtues. Let the one who seeks to abandon the defiled and aspire for the pure, who is confused in practice and vacillating in faith, whose mind is dark and whose understanding deficient, whose evils are heavy and whose karmic obstructions manifold, let such persons embrace, above all, the Tathagata's exhortations. Take refuge without fail in the most excellent direct path. Devote themselves solely to this practice and revere only this Shinjin. Ah, hard to encounter, even in many lifetimes is the decisive cause for birth, Amida's universal vow. Hard to realize, even in myriads of Kalpas, is pure Shinjin that is true and real. If you should come to realize this practice and Shinjin, Rejoice at the conditions from the distant past that have brought it about. Holy sincere, indeed, are the words of truth that one is grasped never to be abandoned, the right dharma all-surpassing and wondrous. Hear and reflect, and let there be no wavering or apprehension. How joyous I am, Gutoku Shinran, disciple of Sakyamuni. Rare is it to come upon the sacred scriptures from the westward land of India and the commentaries of the masters of China and Japan, but now I have been able to encounter them. Rare is it to hear them, but already I have been able to hear. Reverently entrusting myself to the teaching, practice, and realization that are the true essence of the Pure Land Way, I am especially aware of the profundity of the Tathagata's benevolence. Here I rejoice in what I have heard and extol what I have attained. Namo Mita Bodes. Namo Mita Bodes. Namo Mita